Okay, so we're ready for our floor work. So come down onto your back, have your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Okay. So, first thing I want to do, just a basic shoulder bridge. So turn your palms up so it just opens up your chest. Keep your feet nice and loose. Keep your toes nice and wide. And again, we're going to... Okay, I want you to tilt your pelvis, push your lower back to the floor, and then we'll slowly peel our spine up. Take a breath in at the top. Breathe out as you come back down. Okay, just two more of those. Breathing out, push your lower back to the floor. Peel your spine up bone by bone. Keep your chin tucked in. Breathing in at the top. Breathing out as you come back down. Just one last one. Breathe out. Push your lower back to the floor and peel your spine up bone by bone. Breathe in at the top and then breathe out as you come back down. Okay, let's come back up to the bridge. And as you do this, I want you to make sure that you keep your pubic bone, which is your lowest point, as close to the sky or the ceiling as you can. Okay, so squeeze your buttocks, keep your shoulders relaxed. Now, I want you to draw your right knee in and then we're gonna flex the foot and just press that foot away. Bring the leg back in, take your foot back down. Let's do the same on the other side. I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out, press. Feel this buttock working. Breathe in, and release we'll back down. Let's do it again. Inhale, flex your foot, press. Now try and keep your hips really level as you're doing this. Shouldn't have any tension in your shoulders. Shouldn't be any tension in your lower back. If that is the case, you've got to drop your hips slightly. Drop your pelvis. Okay. Again, breathing out. Last one. Peel your spine back down. Now I want you to imprint your spine, so basically keep your lower back on the floor. Come up to tabletop position, so you're going to do this by bringing your knees in, but don't let your back arch off the floor. Okay, from here, I'm going to dip one foot down towards the floor. Now as you do this, keep your rib cage down, keep your tummy in, keep your lower back to the floor, breathing as you return. Other side. Okay, really get that sensation, you're flattening your spine. Breathe in as you come back. And again, ribs stay down, tummy stays tucked in. Breathe out and breathe in as you come back. Again, breathing out. Breathe in as you come back. Now don't take your foot too close to the floor. If you find that your back's arching, then don't take your leg down too far at all. Breathe in as you come back and we'll do our last one. So really draw your navel down, flatten that lower part of your stomach. Okay, take your arms out to the side and we want our palms facing up. So hands are together, sorry, knees are together. Breathe in as you take your knees over to one side. Look to the other direction and don't let the shoulder come off the floor. Now come back to center, pulling your tummy in and pushing your back right down to the floor. Let's breathe in again. So I'm not letting this shoulder come down or come off the floor and then breathe out, back into center. Let's do four more. Breathe in, relax your shoulders. Breathe out. And again, inhale. Breathe out, back to centre. One more on each side. Breathe in, keep your knees together. Don't let your shoulder come off the floor. Breathe out, back to centre. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Center now, I want you to lift your head and shoulders, take your hands by your ears, don't pull on your neck, and just look down between your knees. Okay, we're going to bring one shoulder in towards the knee and then straighten the other leg away. Again, breathing out and breathe in. Don't take your head down in between. If you can, try and take your shoulder right the way across towards your knee, not your elbow. Let's do four more. Breathing out, lift and twist. Now my pelvis is staying absolutely still. One more on each side. Breathe out. Last one. Hug your knees in. 
take your feet back to the floor and just go for a full body stretch. So as you do this, I want you to let your lower back lift. Now push your lower back to the floor. Now I can't do that without my knees bent. So if that's the case, bend your knees. I want you to breathe in, lift your hands up, lift your head up off the floor, grab your legs if you need to, and we're gonna curl the spine. Woo! Curl the spine all the way up, and then just reach forward into a forward spine stretch. Okay, let's do that again. Drop the shoulders back and down. Tuck your pelvis under. Pull your navel in. Shoulders are down. And we're going to control it as we take our arms all the way up and over. Breathe in again as you bring your hands up. Tuck your chin in. Press your ribs right down to the floor. Keep your tummy tight. Lifting up. And then forward spine stretch. Two more of these. Let's curl up. And again. Tummy is flat. Don't let your back arch here. Breathe in at the start. Lift your head and shoulders. Press your ribs down to the floor. Lifting up out of the waist. And then we go into our forward spine stretch. Okay. Let's do one more to take us back down to the floor. Shoulders are back and down. And we'll take that full body stretch. Okay, I want you to come onto your side. And here we're just going to do a really nice stretch with the chest. Okay, so hands are palm on palm, head stays on the floor. This top hand, I want you to keep it on the floor as you circle it all the way around. Keep your head on the floor, but just watch that arm. Take it right the way around over your thigh and back to the start. Two more. All the way around behind you. Keep your navel tucked in. Keep your knees together. One more. Really nice stretch for the chest. Okay, come on to the other side and we'll do exactly the same. So I'm going to have my hands palm on palm. Start by taking your arm up and round. Keep your knees together and just watch your hand as far as you can. Bring that hand all the way back and we'll do two more. So you can take your arm up and round. Okay, let's do one last one. All the way up and round. And we'll come back to the start. Okay, from here, I want you to roll onto your front. Okay, hands are by your side. And we're just going to do a little bit of work specifically for the lower back. So, shoulders are back and down, double chin. And then as you breathe out, I want you to lift your head and shoulders off the floor, slide your shoulders down and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, tummy is tight and then just release back down. Breathing in here. Breathing out as you lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Draw the shoulders down. Let's just do two more of these. Breathe out as you lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out to lift. Now I'm going to make this a little bit harder, but you can stick to that level if it's right for you. Bring your hands in front and just attach your hands to your forehead. Shoulders stay down. As you breathe out once more, lift, but keep your hands attached to your forehead. Tummy is tight. Breathe in as you lower. Just three more. Breathing out to lift. Tummy stays tight. Shoulders stay down. Two more. Breathe out to lift. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And this is our last one. Breathing out as we lift. And release there. Okay, the last one I want to do, take your hands out to the side. This time we're going to lift the chest and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale as you lower. Just three more. Tummy is tight. Really fully shoulder blades pinching together. We've got two more here. Keep your chin tucked in. And last one. Now I want you to sit back on your heels. Just stretch out that lower back. Okay. Reach your fingertips away. Try and keep your bottom on your heels. And the very last exercise, I want you to come up onto all fours. But then I want you to just drop your bottom a little bit closer towards your heels. Just going to move that. Okay, take your hand by your ear. Now look up past your elbow. 
and then feed that elbow right the way through. Let me show you from this side. I'm going to take my elbow up and then feed that elbow through. Inhale and exhale. Let's do three more. Inhale and breathe out. Last two. Final one. And then we'll repeat on the other side. So make sure you keep your bottom just above your heels. You don't want to be lifting into all fours position. Okay, I'm going to breathe out. Take my elbow through. Breathe in, lift. This is really fabulous for just mobilizing that mid-back. Okay, this is your last one. Inhale. Exhale back. Sit back on your heels and just stretch out your arms. <laughs>